Hello everyone, this is a Geek Must Have with a quick start tutorial to show you how to start using the ASCII Doctor markup tools to write quicker and better. ASCII Doctor is a markup syntax that when it's used with a simple text editor, it can produce nicely formatted HTML pages for web distribution and PDF files for attachment distribution. By using your favorite text editor and the ASCII Doctor syntax, you can quickly create standardized documentation that is fully cross-referenced. ASCII Doctor is a Ruby-based application, and this quick start will show you how ASCII Doctor is installed on a Windows system. After that, to test the installation, we'll use the Windows Notepad to create a sample ADOC document and generate HTML and PDF. Let's start by verifying if Ruby's installed on our system. We'll start the PowerShell and we'll do Ruby tac tac version and this message indicates that Ruby is not installed on our system the and the quickest and easiest way to install Ruby is to use the Ruby installer for Windows. And we'll go to the download link. And we want to avoid the 2.6 version of Ruby right now because some of the gems don't work correctly with it. So we'll go to the 2.5.3 for the 64-bit system. And we'll download that file. And we'll execute it. We'll accept the license. We'll let it install Ruby where it would like to and make certain that uh, the Ruby executables have been added to the path. And it's very important to check off this run uh, RIDK install. Now we'll verify if Ruby's been installed. In order to verify that Ruby's been installed, we'll have to close PowerShell back down. Open it back up again. And it's Ruby Tac Tac version. And it returns Ruby 2.5.3. And we'll also verify that Gem, the Ruby package installer, has been installed as well. That's Gem Tac Tac version. And it has been installed and it's 2.7.6. Now we'll install the ASCII Doctor gems needed in order to run ASCII Doctor. screen out. First one is gem install ASCII doctor. And we'll allow access for the firewall. And now we'll verify that the ASCII doctors have been installed. ASCII Doctor Tech Tech version. And there it is, version 
Now we'll install a gem called Concurrent Ruby that's needed for the next step. That's gem install concurrent hyphen Ruby. The next step is to install the ASCII Doctor PDF tool, and that's gem install ASCII Doctor dash PDF. Tac tac pre because this is a beta library gem. And the last item to install isn't really a necessary gem, but I strongly suggest it if the documentation that you're going to write is going to have code segments in it, like you might have a Python script or a Java script script or a JSON script, and you want these to be syntax highlighted so they look nice in your documentation, I'd recommend this gem. And that's gem install code ray. We forgot to verify the ASCII PDF version. Dash PDF, tac tac version. And it is version 1.5.0. Those are all the gems necessary in order to run the ASCII Doctor toolset. Now we'll create a sample ASCII doctor file, which is saved with an extension of a doc. So we'll open up the notepad. And we'll go with sample a doc. It's warning us that file doesn't exist. We want to create it. And I am going to copy a document that I have handy into here. Now, don't worry so much about the text that's in here, but if you take a look at it, it's just regular text with a couple of formatting characters, like this line here with a simple equal sign on it, and then kind of a variable here defining TOC, which is Table of Contents, some asterisks that indicate bullets, a note, a hyperlink, and bolding something with the asterisks. So we'll save this file out. Now the next step will generate the HTML from that ADOC using the ASCII doctor gem that we had installed. The command is ASCII doctor followed by the file name sample.adoc. And that's it. It generated the HTML file. Let's take a look at that HTML file. There's the file that we want to look at. And here's the file, the HTML file that was generated. You'll see it has a nice heading on there. It has a authorship line with some version information has a preamble that displays a little bit bigger, but notice there's an introduction topic and a follow-up topic, and there's a table of contents over here that match it. There's the text that was bolded, and we have a footer at the bottom automatically. That entire HTML file, which is ready for the web, was generated from that text file that we created. 
Now let's generate the PDF version of the sample.adoc. Close out the browser. And the command is ASCII. Doctor dash PDF and the name of the file sample a doc. That's it. It generated the PDF. Let's take a look at it. And it opened up a browser with the PDF inside of it. And there is the header page, which has the author information and the title. There's the table of contents. And the actual page with the preamble that's a little bit larger. The introduction section, the bullets, the note. And the various links that are there, including my blog, which is Geek Must Have, and the bolded text. And that's the generated PDF file. Congratulations, you've installed the ASCII Doctor Toolchain. There's a more detailed version of this installation process at a video I did a while back that you should be able to get to by clicking a link right here. And I plan on having future episodes about ASCII Doctor, including how to view an ADOC file directly from your browser, how to start using Visual Studio Code and the ADOC extensions that are available for it, and how to improve your Visual Studio ADOC speed in creating documents through the use of snippets. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you found it educational or entertaining. If so, then click on that like button and show your support by subscribing to my channel. Every subscriber that I get makes me smile just a little bit more. As I mentioned, I have a companion blog at geekmusthave.com where I ramble on about technology. Thank you and have a good one.